What's up you guys? So I posed a question for you guys last week asking you what you wanted to hear more of on my channel. Um, and the top rated comment on the channel was basically this question that I'm gonna answer on this video, uh, which is how to figure out and identify if the girl wants to be in a committed relationship and wants to be monogamous or is just playing around and wants to spend time before I end up in bed with her. Okay, so basically what this guy's wondering is how to know if the girl wants like a more committed, serious, monogamous, monogamous relationship or she just wants to hook up. Okay, uh, yeah, there are women who wanna do both. <laughs> so basically, I'm gonna answer this guy's question, but I think the place that this question is coming from is something that I would, I would try and shy away from and do, I, I would do something else, okay? Rather than be thinking about this question all the time, there's something else that you should be thinking about. Basically a higher value mentality that I would invite you guys to do. So first I'll answer this guy's question and then I'll get into that. Okay, well, uh, dude, you could, to answer your question, you could just ask her. <laughs> you could say, hey, what are you looking for? And a lot of times people, surprisingly, tell the truth. Um, if she really, really likes you, probably what she's going to say is, oh, I don't know, like, um, just kind of seeing where things go. Usually women, if they've been seeing you for a while, uh, they're gonna want something a little bit more. Like, they don't wanna just hang around a dude for three or four months um, and have it lead to nothing, okay? That, for a lot of women, that's kind of a waste of time. Some women are fine to hook up with guys. Um, but I would say more often than not, like kind of that's what they're looking for if, that, if it does come down to that. Now, if she is just trying to hook up, which is definitely possible, I would say that she's probably gonna be hitting you up around party time. You know, if she's gonna wonder, hey, you going to this event or something like that, or you'll hit her up and she'll, you guys will meet up when you go out late at night. Um, basically, you'll run into each other in those kinds of situations. Or maybe she'll come over and you won't really do that much and, and, that, and that's pretty much it. But if she's looking for something more, and you can kind of tell by the way they talk to you as well too, is if they are asking you more questions about yourself, they're wondering what's going on with you, uh, they like to talk on the phone uh, during the week and stuff, yeah, that girl probably wants a relationship, you know? And if you, what you have to decide at this point, and this is really what you should focus on, and so I've answered your question, now I'm gonna tell you kind of how you should really think about it. And that's, you should go off of you should act the way that you want to act unapologetically and see if she's down with that. Okay, so if you just want to hook up, don't be thinking, oh, this girl wants a relationship, so I should act like what she wants, but then not give it to her. So a lot of guys will act like they're uh, the girl's boyfriend or something like that because they think that's what she wants, and that can get you into a lot of trouble. First of all, it's incongruent, so a lot of times the girl will just kind of get weirded out and leave, uh, but if she stays and she believes that you want to be her boyfriend, um, that's when women go crazy and they really start getting pissed off at you. And yes, I've definitely messed this up when I was younger. I didn't really pay attention to what I was. I, I always thought the girl wanted a relationship and so I would act that way. And some of these girls didn't even want a relationship, but the fact that I acted that I scared those girls away and then the girls that did want a relationship would stay and then I would have drama with them because I was not acting the way that I should have been acting. Okay, so a high value guy, and that's ultimately what I want you guys to be, he doesn't think about it that way, okay? I act the way that I wanna act, okay? If a girl comes into my life and I like her, but I don't wanna be in a relationship with her, I don't act like I want to be in a relationship with her. I call her, you know, sometimes when I wanna hear from her, yeah, sure, I do enjoy keeping up with girls like that, but I maintain a certain uh, sense of boundaries when I'm doing it. Okay, and if the question comes up, I don't tell her an answer that I think she wants to hear. I tell her the truth. And that, you know, I'm pretty good at talking about it in these ways now where I'm, I don't hurt their feelings too bad, but usually it's not a, usually it's not something that like they wanna hear outright. You, you don't act the way you think the person wants you to act. Act the way that you wanna act first and see who sticks around you. And the girls that stick around you are ultimately going to be the best people for you anyway because that matches up with your lifestyle. You want people that contribute to your lifestyle, not, not that are people that are gonna make you sacrifice and do things the wrong way. If you're not ready to get into a relationship, don't act like it, it's very, very simple. Okay, um, and there is also a very brief part of his question where he was wondering if she's just hanging out before they hook up. Uh, I mean, look, if the girl's going on several dates with you and not 
hooking up with you. Okay, she probably wants something a little more serious than just hooking up. That's why she made you wait for so long. Okay, so if you want a girl who uh, wants to hook up, then it should probably happen pretty quickly, like first or second date or something like that. That's, you know, it's somewhere around there. Uh, I, I would think that would be it. But again, be going and doing what you want to do and find women that are down. Okay, if, you, if they're not down for what you're offering, then they'll leave. And it's not your responsibility really to, uh, you know, predict their destiny and, and figure it out for them. That's for them. Um, so don't be pressuring them or doing any of that sort of stuff, but have them figure it out for themselves and be honest and, and communicate with them too. If you feel like something's up, talk to them about it, okay? I think sometimes you can talk a little too much and, and that can kind of like, you know, kill the mystery or kill the fun that you guys are having too. Um, but I think talking every once in a while and just being truthful to each other about what you guys want will solve most of these issues too. So uh, that's what I invite you guys to do. If you guys made it to the end, consider subscribing. I come out with videos like this every single week. And if you have other questions you want me to answer, dude, just put them in the comment section below. I'll make sure I bang them out really quick. All right, and also too, guys, if you want to join my mastermind program, I'm looking for five new guys in it as well. So if you like learning from me and you want to get taught by me personally uh, about this sort of stuff, get smarter in your dating life. You know, during quarantine, this is a great time for you to grow. Um, there is a form in the description box below. Click on the form, fill it out. And if you're a good fit, we'll get back to you. Thanks a lot, you guys. Good luck out there.